Hey America, it's the Barter Kings. And you've got Tricks of the Trade. You know, people might not have a lot of money in their bank account nowadays because of the economy, but when they look around their garage and their house and their storage, they find out that they have a bank's worth of money just sitting there on the floor that they haven't seen used or dusted off in three, four, ten years. That's currency. That's trade currency. You know what? When times were good, people bought two, three, four TVs, bounce houses. How many people need a bounce house? So now they can't sell them for what they have into them. So they'd rather trade them than actually lose money. I recently traded a, a Harley helmet worth about 100 bucks up to a Marilyn Merlot bottle of wine. We both didn't know exactly what it was worth, and when I had it appraised, it ended up being worth about three grand, so uh, it ended up working out for me. I traded a big giant rock, which is called a geode, for a 1974 muscle car. And I'll tell you what, it was a great trade. Who would think you could ever trade a rock for a muscle car? The craziest trade, I think, was uh, one that Antonio and I made together. It was like a heavy duty drill that did some type of core drilling, made big holes for an organic plant farm. And uh, we traded for two alpacas. We have teeth that stick out of their mouth about two and a half inches. They stick out of the bottom of their mouth like that, and that's how they eat. If they go to the same <laughs> dentist Antonio goes to. <laughs> and we ended up finding a very good home for them. And uh, it was probably the most satisfying trade that we ever did. You know, I've learned when trading, if you stop worrying so much about money and value and worry about what you need or want, it makes life a lot easier and lowers your stress level.